Kierkegaard asks us to imagine some treasure that everyone covets. The treasure lies far out on a very thin crust of ice and it poses a great danger to anyone who comes close to it. Closer to shore, the ice is thick and solid, but the closer you get to the treasure, the ice becomes thinner and thinner. Kierkegaard uses this scenario to distinguish between a passionate age and an age devoid of passion. In a passionate age, the crowd would loudly cheer the bold, brave person who skates out on the thin ice. They would shudder for him and with him in his perilous decision, would grieve for him if he meets his death, and would idealize him if he gets the treasure. The situation would be entirely different in a reflective age devoid of passion. In mutual recognition of shared prudence, the crowd would sensibly agree that it certainly would not be worth the trouble to skate out on such thin ice. In fact, it would be foolish and ridiculous. In such an age, an inspired venture would be transformed into an acrobatic stunt. They would go out and from their safe vantage point appraise the expert skater who can skate almost to the very edge and then turn back. However, the skater goes only as far out as the ice is still safe and just short of being dangerous. One of the skaters would be exceptionally skilled and he would even be able to perform the stunt of making one seemingly hazardous swoop right at the very edge causing the spectators to shout, Ye gods, he is crazy, he is risking his life. But you see, he is so exceptionally skillful that he can make a sharp turn precisely at the extreme edge, that is, where the ice is still completely safe and still short of being dangerous. Just as at the theatre, the crowd would shout bravo and acclaim him and then carry their heroic performer home on their shoulders and honour him with a sumptuous banquet, 